All right. Welcome back. The uh, Jets pick is in, but before that, I want to uh, tell you that with the first pick, the uh, Jacksonville Jaguars chose uh, Trevor Lawrence, quarterback, uh, Clemson. And we had my, my special guest, Matt Murphy, and I, we had a feeling that the uh, Jaguars were going to take the, the uh, Trevor Lawrence of Clemson. Now we're about to see who the uh, Jets have chosen. And after the, uh, the Jets traded quarterback Sam Darnold to the Carolina Panthers for three draft picks, and I think that might have been a good move. I kind of felt they might have wanted to fire their, head, fire their head coach, but I don't think that happened. Who do you think this pick is, Scott? What's your guess? Well, I'm not sure. I was thinking Zach Wilson, but I'm not so sure about Zach Yo, Wilson. Yeah, you're right, buddy. You're but right. it is that they've chosen Zach oh, Wilson, yeah. quarterback, BYU. So that Kid's is, got a hell of an arm, but yes, he really hasn't he does. faced any comp, real competition. And uh, there's a lot of people saying, how is his demeanor going to work in uh, the Big Apple? Exactly, exactly. And the San Francisco... Now, this is where the uh, draft really gets interesting, buddy. Yes, Look it Look at that does. setup in Cleveland. That's amazing. Now, I want to tell you, the future of... Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo, I want to take a second to mention him because the 49ers really, they are coming off a tough 6-10 and 10 season. The 49ers battled through a lot of injuries, lot of injuries. And especially with Garoppolo being injured uh, with several other players as well last season. Now the 49ers traded with the Miami Dolphins for the number three pick overall and uh, they say they are taking a quarterback no matter what. You don't trade up that far no, for anything else. No, you Rob. don't. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't trade any farther up than that. <laughs> well, I gotta know, Scott. We just, well, who do you who do you think they're gonna take here? Just give us your guess. Well, this is hard to say right now because uh, there's just a lot out there. But I Joe th thinks Justin Fields. I think they're going Trey Lance. Well, I think they're gonna go Trey Lance too because. The New England Patriots and Bill Belichick have their eye on Ohio State Buckeyes quarterback Justin Fields, and I'll talk about oh, that. In just I a don't second. want to see him go there. <laughs> but um, the the Forty Nineers traded with the with Miami for that number to pick overall, and they say, as I just said, they're taking a the quarterback no matter what. Now, uh, who the Forty Nineers uh, plan to select at number three overall remains a mystery. Hours before. Right now, that's got 20, five minutes, buddy. Twenty-four. This is when the draft exactly. really starts. Yeah. Now, now, what's not in question is what what the pick will mean for Jimmy Garoppolo's long-term future. The Niners traded uh, three first-round picks to leap to the third position to select their QB of the future, meaning uh, Jimmy uh, Garoppolo isn't. Uh, long for the Bay Area. Now the question heading into the draft might uh, might uh, be is uh, 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 what, what, with uh, whether uh, San Francisco could trade uh, the QB before before or during uh, during, during or after the draft. Yeah, now yeah. unless it hangs on to him through the rookie's first season, but will uh we're going to find out who they take in just a few moments. About four minutes, buddy. So, in about uh, four and a half minutes. NFL Network uh, insider Ian Rappaport reported on thir Thursday morning, uh, this morning, that uh, uh, the Niners do not have uh, plays or plans to trade Jimmy Garoppolo unless uh, the value overwhelms them. Her sources informed of the situation. Of course, Couldn't you see him back in New England. Well, it's that's possible. You never know, but I don't know if he's going to want to go back to New England. Now, of course, plans are often made uh, to be changed. NFL Network's Tom uh, Pelissaro, uh, Pelissaro, yes, reported uh, this morning on Good Morning Football on NFL Network that several teams will inquire about or inquire about a trade for the QB who helped get the Niners to a Super Bowl two seasons ago. 
But nothing is in motion yet. So we got to wait and see what happens. And we're still waiting for their pick to come in. My understanding is you can anticipate multiple teams to be checking in with the 49ers today about a potential trade for Garoppolo, uh, Pelissaro said. One logical team that has been connected to this for a while is, of course, Garoppolo's original team, which is the New England Patriots and Bill Belichick. The Patriots uh, have long been uh, connected to uh, Jimmy Garoppolo's uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Bill Belichick has liked the QB since drafting him in the second round in 2014. Now, with Cam Newton resigned mm -hmm. uh, for just one season on a backup salary, the Pats could uh, view the 29-year-old Garoppolo as more than a stopgap. Now, the scenario likely depends on whether Belichick uh, lands his franchise signal caller during the draft, uh, either at number 15 overall or with a trade-up. Several other uh, uh, quarterback needy teams could also inquire later in the draft if the strikeout uh, snagging one. <clears throat> uh, Pilisario uh, also added um, two interesting uh, factors that might make it difficult uh, to, uh, to uh, saving any trade uh, mid-draft. Um, uh, number one, no talks on restrict, restructured uh, contracts uh, elsewhere has been discussed. And number two, Garoppolo owns a rarely uh, discussed no-trade clause, which has the potential to throw a wrench into any situation. Without mm -hmm. discussing uh, po uh, potential contract restructures with acquiring teams, it could be difficult for a Looks trade like to go down. Looks like the pick is in, Scotty. Uh, all right. Before this is we, a big one. The pick is in. We're about to find out in just a few seconds here uh, for a trade to go down uh, during a the flurry of the draft. And we're about to find out in just a few seconds. Now, uh... Now, and I'm going to say this right now. Kyle Shanahan is handpicking his new quarterback. Yep. That that much is clear. Uh, Which whatever is it is. Which interesting because you know so, he's a heck of a play caller. You just don't know how. Whatever. Uh, we don't it's, know how he it, is. Yes, you're exactly right. He would have picked uh, Kirk Kirk Cousins the yeah, year right. over uh, some other QBs. Yeah. Well, so. whether it's game ready Mac Jones or perhaps Trey Lance, as we both mentioned, who might need seasoning. Would like uh, likely determine how long Garoppolo remains in San Francisco. So, my God, if they're doing only two picks every forty minutes, yeah. Now the expectation to go till one in the morning. From the moment the Niners uh, telegraphed uh, they were out long term on the uh, uh, OFT, Garoppolo has been that quarterback and would be. Uh, 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 and uh, uh, and a cable to uh, adjust a contract that would pay him more than uh, he made if outright if outright cut, and it's been expected that Garoppolo would uh, agree to a said to a said trade with the expectation that he'd have go, a better chance of playing pl uh, at playing time. With a destination Live switch. Live at the uh, Murphy House. Here we go, buddy. And here we go with 49ers pick is in. We're about to find out. Trey Lance. We and were they, right. We, we were both correct. Wow. They, tra they take Trey Lance. Wow. Quarterback, North Dakota State. They're saying the the, the the kid he really I mean uh, unbelievable uh, football IQ and just, yeah um, he did, you're right you're right, absolutely right and I agree. Well, we are now up to the fourth pick in the first round and uh, the oh uh, I can see the Patriots now trying to do something to get Mac Jones. That sounds like the a Atlanta fit Falcons for them. are now on the clock. And I think Atlanta's going to go with a quarterback, too, in this first round. So, Because they, they had a decent season, but there were some games where 
they just could not get over that hurdle to get the win. Well, they have a horrible defense. Yeah, they do. But and it's how many more years of, of Matt Ryan do you think you have? Uh, um, exactly. Will you be this high again? Yeah. And wow, Matt Ryan, Lance, he's, okay. he's starting to really get up in his years. He's starting to get close to 40, I think. I mean, he's in his, I think, his mid to late 30s. So Who, Matt Ryan? Yeah. He's 38. Yeah. Now, uh, getting back to uh, what I was talking about, we just got the uh, oh, Browns. Wow, I didn't know this. Is he a lefty? Oh, no, he's not. Yeah. He's um, now, getting back to the Browns linebackers that I was talking about, the next one I was talking about that, that I'm going to mention is Nick Bolton, linebacker, Missouri. Perhaps the next, perhaps the exact opposite of, of uh, Zayvon Collins. Nick Bolton from Missouri. Bolton is slightly undersized. For the position at 5'11", 237 pounds, what Bolton lacks in size, he makes up in toughness, which is always a great trait to have. Bolton is an aggressive uh, phys physical player who isn't afraid to get his, uh, to get his dirty in the, uh, to, get his, to get his dirty in the run game. His, uh, he also was great in coverage and would have the ability uh, to play man coverage versus uh, most tight ends in the uh, league. Finally, Bolton was tremendous on special teams early in his career. You don't take a guy at number 26 to play uh, special teams, but it it's certain it's certainly an added uh, benefit. As with any player, Bolton uh, certainly has areas where he needs uh, <coughs> to improve. Uh, while he has plenty of quickness and speed to play uh, in the NFL, it is likely uh, his biggest weakness at times. He can get lost in uh, traffic, especially when players are moving literally. The game may take longer than some to slow down at the next level. But Bolton could easily be an elite NFL uh, linebacker within the... Uh, next two years. The pure size of Collins is much more uh, desirable, but still I am slightly higher on, uh, on Bolton just because of his edge and toughness. Coaches can work to increase uh, strength and awareness, but pure toughness is something that can be taught. Now, the, 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 the other one that I have at linebacker is Um, Jeremiah uh, Ojua Kor uh, Koromoa, Notre Dame. Now, it should clearly, uh, I should, excuse me, I should clarify, Micah uh, Parson is certainly worth drafting in the first round as well, but I believe there is a big low chance he makes it to number 26 as media cons consensus, I've said that too. That's why I have Jeremiah uh, Oiyuzu Koromoa, Koromoa from Notre Dame as the number one uh, option at linebacker for the Cleveland Browns at pick number 26 in the, NFL, in the 2021 NFL Draft. At six foot one, 221 pounds, uh, the only true question mark on uh, Ozu uh, Koromoa is, is if he, is if his size will limit his success. Other than that, he checks every box. He is explosive with speed and quickness, and has proven to be tr a tremendous blitzer up the middle or off the edge. Now this very well, very well could be, as I mentioned. Uh, above uh, uh, you, uh Koromoa is slightly undersized at times and plays with a, a skill set of safety more than a linebacker. He, he's also uh, a guy that can go for the big hit instead of uh, wrapping uh, wrapping uh, up and uh, miss tackles uh, Occasionally, and Atlanta's pick is in, but my time is almost up for this segment. 
Sabra, I'll take a break. I will tell you Atlantis Pook when we come back.